Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy PB back, and I'm back with another podcast, episode three of PB's Table. Right now, I've got a full panel with me, and we had to get it cracking, had to get it juicy. But before we start, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. Also, check me out on Spotify and Apple Podcasts too. We upload everything on there as well, man. So we're gonna start from the right. And what I want you to do is, yeah, I want you to obviously introduce your name, mm-hmm. socials, whatever. And I want you to answer this question as well. I want you to answer the most shallow thing that you've left someone for. Mm-hmm. You get Go on. Mm-hmm. Don't get interested. I love people who, like, boast about what they do. Like, you get it? Like, what you do, of course, I would be boasting about something I'm happy of in terms of business-wise and whatnot, if your money's up. But... Guys, please don't be flashing in people's faces. Like that's one ick. Like I can't be with someone who like, flashes. Sure it, yeah, right? like you, if you're too flashy, I can't be with you. Like that shit just puts me off. Like there's no way you're going around doing this because you're going to be a topic. Like I can't do that. That's one ick. I feel like that plays a major role. Right, first, next. Hi, so it's Remy. Um, cool. Um, my ick, I would say, is boys that hate girls and like you know those ones when they be like oh my girl can't do this my girl can't go to this motive my girl can't wear that like just hating girls for no reason like my girl can't go carny I feel like that's just a big ick for me yeah, yeah. That, that don't really mean he hates girls though it does it, it does hate no it. I feel like you guys it'll be like first of all you're talking to someone you know that she's an insta buddy her body what she posted is half naked you were liking her because she was half naked. You're with her. Now you're telling her when you go out, dress properly. What do you mean dress properly? This is how you were is, talking to me. You were moving to me the like this. The you are yeah. against the relationship person you are can't really be the same thing. It's true. So man met her and she was single when I met her. Okay. So that kind of stuff kind of attracted me. But now she's in a relationship. Got to tone it a down a bit, yeah. man. You it's can't like, tone it down a little bit. What do you think? No, but it's like, okay, you're you're marrying an actor or you're talking to an actor. Oh, I don't feel like you should do this scene because I feel uncomfortable. This is what makes my money. That's like, different, though. No. That's your profession. It, it's not, no, but in a way, it's like, if she's half naked, which, what if she's telling you, like, this is, like, what I do, like, I get paid to dress like this, then what? Hey, man. Fairs, fairs, fairs. <laughs> yeah. I really see, you know, it's PB Brack, PB underscore Brack on everything. And the most shallowest thing that I've left a girl for. Let <laughs> me <laughs> <just> start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> let me show, let me show, let me show. The most shallowest thing that I left a girl for, I think it was, I think it was dry skin. She Barrack. Just that's your dress. Like, just saying. No. That's, that's nah, crazy. I can't lie. It, like, I don't like difficult conversations. Do you know mm. what I mean? So I didn't know how to bring it up to her and be like, yo, like, it's going to drag. <laughs> like, how do I take a girl that? No, bro. Girls would get offended, bro. No, she'll 100. Yeah, 100. Yeah, but then she'll respect you. Yeah, for telling, yeah. Them. But then again, I feel like even telling someone their skin is dry is not even that major. Yeah, I feel <laughs> like, like she didn't like her that much. Yeah, I didn't like her that much. Yeah. Yeah. I personally, if my like man the... had dry skin, I've told them they had dry skin. 100%. It's something that could change. It could change? Yeah. It could change. Well, exactly. You get me? I just got icked off by that. I can't lie. Mm-hmm. What about you? It's Miko. Um, shallowest thing I've left someone for. <sighs> off the top of my head. I don't even know, you know. Like, what do you think it would be, though? Mm. Well, it would be. Yeah. That's something that annoys me. Yeah, that you would, that you see it, that turned off. Now. Can't lie, yeah. one thing annoys me, you see when girls are screaming A, A, A on Snap. It, uh, I don't know why. Like when they're clubbing and shit. Yeah, they're screaming A. I can't stand it, bro. So say your say talking stage is doing that, she, like, she goes out <laughs> on a Saturday and she, you see her in the club. I'm going to be looking at my phone like... <laughs> I don't. I saw you guys do that though. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I'm not going to go to the bar. I just don't. I can't. Oh, no, you know what? Like expect that like, when girls are forming their friends, having fun. Yeah. What, what do you want us to say? say? Private story, at least. Like, oh yeah. No. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay. Fair yeah, enough. Okay, Private story. Yeah. I mean, main yeah. story is wow. Like you're too loud. But I just don't want to see no. It. But then again, you can be too loud. Like it's your moment to enjoy. Like Literally. who can tell you to to stop saying oh, oh stop like. Thing, See, that's right, giving yeah. hater, like I said. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> it's giving party poop, and we cannot do that. Well, one thing as well that I would say that I probably would get it tough about, yeah. If it's since we talk about the whole club thing, yeah. Mm-hmm. You see, like, you see, for example, boys are doing a bottle show. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, you know people at the table will snap the bottles. Yeah. 
It's when a girl was snapping and she's not even on the table. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Like, that you're is like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so yeah, yeah. Like, you're like, you know you're not on the table. Yeah, like, yeah, like, not big, bro. No, but if she got invited to the table, that's their table now. Like, if you got, got, yeah, if you got invited on it, then it's calm. Oh, as in but if you were on the you're table. Like, not on oh, it, bro, okay. and you're snapping it, like, you get Yeah, you're part of the crew, bro. Yeah, bro. It's like, cool. Obviously, I want to know, yeah, about how you guys... Uh, how your mind's working shit, innit? Mm. So that's got some hypotheticals. My mind doesn't guys. work. <laughs> yeah, <you can>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm empty. Let me find, let me find it. So cool, the first one is, yeah, I'm going to start with you to answer first, yeah. Okay. Your best friend commits a violent crime in your presence. Would you rather snitch knowing that they'll get the death penalty or keep quiet and you'll both do 30 years in prison? Fuck. What you gotta say fuck me for? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna, we're gonna have to both do the time, bro. Same so one? Bro, death penalty. So you're gonna do 30 years or something you didn't do? But that's crazy, though, because then I'm deep in it, we're both sharing it. Do you get it? It's like, not the other person hasn't been let off. Like, we're both in it. Like, no, in fair it. enough, I didn't do anything, but I was there. <laughs> but why would you do it in front of me, though, is what I'm trying to figure yeah. out. Like, <laughs> fuck. Well, I was saying, so what, your vote is 30 years, yeah? Or if I don't do the 30 years, my friend has to do that. Yeah, she dies. Definitely. Bro, like I'm losing my friend and your, I'm your, living. Your yeah, friend, bro. Like, I'm so sorry, but we're both going to have to do them years. Yes. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? Um, I don't know about that one. I, I personally feel like I couldn't go to prison, especially for something I didn't do. So if I witness my friend, actually, my best friend commit a murder, it's like... I, I just, she's getting the punishment because she killed someone. Mm, do you get what that, I mean? That's, so that's the only logical I personally, answer. I wouldn't go to prison for my best friend because she could be my best friend now and then you maybe she's on 30 know, years yeah, we're not friends it, anymore. You might wish me like, dead, mom. Yeah. <laughs> she's dead, bro. I changed my mind, y'all. She said some smart nah, shit. Nah, nah, nah. Said, Girl, you think. doing death penalty. You is doing death penalty. That's, that's the only correct answer in my opinion, yeah. bro, because that. Like, don't do the crime if you can't do the time, personally, because... No, but what gonna... if, like, you don't know the scenario? Like, you don't know what happened. Like, you Where don't know why it happened. Yeah, do you get it? Like, that, you don't know what the situation you was. That you got to jail. <laughs> <laughs> why the fuck am I going to jail? Life sentence is not straight away. Like, I'll be giving you emotional support from outside, visiting you, da 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 the whole time, they're going to know that you could have done 30 years with them and saved their life. I'm not saving their life though because what? 30 years is basically a life sentence anyway. Yeah, so you're coming out with big 20, people. 20, 20, yeah, 30, yeah, bro. Like, it's still long, 50, yeah. Like, 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 bro, I can't lie. For me personally, I'm sorry. I, I feel like they would understand. Yeah, they should understand. They should understand that. Mm. I want to be what you're going to tell yourself. I right? want to be mad at my boy for letting me die for something that I done. Mm. Yeah, obviously, yes. I'll, I'll yes. want him to do the thing with me. You're 100%. But if he was to choose, I'd be like, I am, man. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Until you said that, I was going to say I'll do it 30 years. Why would you do the 30 years though? Why? Because I'm sentencing my best friend to death, basically, bro. You know what it is? It's a a thing where it happened right in front of me as well. So Mm. it's like, why didn't I stop it happening? Mm. But you're not obliged to stop it. Like, that's not your job. A violent murder. Hey, man, if I see a violent murder happening outside, do you think I'm going to stop him? No, but it's like you're with your best friend. Like, you have, like, you know what? Like, they're telling you. It's like, let's say for a thing, it's like, it, it's not just happened. If it was a moment, it was just like, it just happened out of nowhere yeah. and you had no idea and you couldn't stop it. Fair enough. But if it's in a, a situation where it's like, you know what? I could have stopped you from doing it, but I didn't. So now right. look look at the predicament. Fair, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Murder, but that's not just going to happen. Just yeah, like bro. Wow. Like, it's a build up. Yeah, but yeah. think about, like, you're going to be in prison for 30 years. When you come out, your life is ruined. Like, mm. you actually can't do anything after. Like, you can apply for a job. They'll be like, have you committed crimes mm. before? No, but the thing is, you're kind of in the clear because you didn't do no murder. They're not mean anything. Yeah, hundred percent. They're not gonna care about that. Yeah, you're gonna see murder. Mm. Literally, so <laughs> I murder. feel like yeah. Like, mm. is the it? Life is hey man, that was a cool, tricky one man. though. It's crazy. Let me give you another one. Yeah, guys, don't commit murders. Please. Would yeah? <laughs> I'm start, start with you again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you rather meet the love of your life next month or secure your dream job next month? Secure my dream job next month. My love of my life can follow after my dream job. No, 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 but it's the thing where if you get one, you don't get the other. Oh, damn. So you get a dream job, but you're missing on love of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I had to breathe, like... Don't kill you. But the thing is, I've always, like, in terms of business, imagine, like, this business, like, the best thing that could have mm. happened to you, but then your partner, like, 
cool, that's your partner for life, but what's coming with it? What am I getting from it? You get it, like I feel some sort of happiness with you, though. Man. Don't get it twisted, yeah. But like my dream job, like let's say it's been something that I've been wanting to do for the longest, mm. and now I've got the opportunity to do it. I'm gonna grab it. But then again, a partner, fair enough, you can provide happiness, you can provide love. But then again, I want to do something that I've been planning to do. But do you think your dream job will make you happy for the rest of your life? Hundred percent, especially so, with what I what want to do. I feel like that would definitely make me happy. Like you don't think you'll get bored of it, like you don't yeah. think. No, I feel like I would actually enjoy it in the long run because I feel like there's more to it. Like so, you'll value that over like, starting a family with yeah. the love of your life and that. I'm not gonna lie. In terms of like having families, I don't really want that. That's why I'm going oh, for yeah. the dream job. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, so. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah. So, so your answer is dream job. Dream yeah. job. What's yours? Um, my love of my life. Like I, I you know when you just see those stories when you people actually meet the love of my life. Like, mm. I feel like that. I want that to be me. Like because not everyone gets to meet the love of their life, Hundreds. and I feel like you just need to. I feel like work. Come like works really. work in it, but mm. with work. I don't want to die just knowing all work, you had was work. You know what I mean? Mm. Like when I, I want my life to be living with the fullest. So like if I meet my love, my life, I have my kids and everything like that. So yeah, I feel like love my life. Mm. Yeah, I can't lie to me. I'm choosing love of my life, isn't it? Because I feel like all these all these guys that are billionaires and that they have everything, but like I don't feel like you're really complete until you have that love mm. Mm. to get. So like, and I feel like. I've seen some people that are poor or like don't have the best job, but they're happy. They're mm. content with them because they've they've married, they settled down, they've started their families, they've got kids that are mm. happy and that. Mm. So some stuff like that can't really be like be beat. That's that's what I think. Yeah. 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 I think love is a purer form of happiness than money can ever provide. Mm. You know? Yeah. That was <laughs> 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 he was waiting. He was waiting. Yeah. Was yeah. Right yeah. Now, like, <laughs> he even that said it was so like, you know, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, bro, bro, like career, yeah, you might be happy initially mm. when you first get it, but that euphoria is gonna die down eventually. Mm. No matter no matter what you say, it's gonna die down. Like, yeah, that, passion, that passion you have now is because you ain't got it. Exactly. You you get it. And you're in that career for like 15, 20 years, mm. I think you're gonna be like, oh. Just work, or yeah, man. Like, the day, it's a job, it's true, but then again, it's a dream job, like, it's not something that is just like, you know what, yeah, this is just for, it's yeah, it's my job dream like, job. You get it's not just something like, okay, yeah, I just want to wake up and do this. Oh, no, actually, I don't want to do it anymore. No wake up and do it. no, it's like, this is I've been planning, like, guys, this is years of working mm. to get this. Mm. Do you get it? Like, I don't know, I don't feel like I would ever be this. Right, cool. Next one, yeah, would you rather watch a video showing? how the world was created or watch a video showing how the world will end? End. End? Yeah. Why? No. Because it's the past now, like, <laughs> do you get what I mean? But the, the future, like, I just want to see, I don't know, like, the future is more important than the past, I feel like. So. See, see, super media. Yeah. Yeah. I'll watch how it was created, yeah, because yeah. I feel like right. that will answer so many questions. Yeah. Thank you. See them like atheists that don't yeah. believe in mm. God. If he, like if it shows like there is a God, yeah. yeah. Video, bro. So, like, as in you only see the video, nobody else. Or... Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, see, you it. see it. But, exactly. So yeah, it won't really change much. No, but that's the thing. No, but at the end of the day, is your mind is at ease because yeah, now you know. Did you get? I'll be the best Christian that day, bro. If I see that, you get me. <laughs> this is the right religion. Like this happened, yeah. Yeah. Like, you get right. Yeah. yeah, man. I rather see how the world was created. Mm-hmm. Like, knowing that how the world is gonna end, I feel like that would. That sounds depressing. I like, won't even be there as one more time for it. But it's not even that you're just gonna live a fuck it life. Like I know this is gonna happen in this yeah. moment, so let me just move bare reckless. No, honey, I just want to know how it started. And let me just keep on living. I just want to see how... Because obviously I know it's going to be a bad end to the world, but I just want to see how bad... No, but that's the why, thing though. In terms of... The cause of it as well. Because if I know how the world's going to end... That's just interesting. And then you'll see how everyone's moving now. You're going to see, hmm, this is where yeah. it's starting from kind of thing. <laughs> the like, way I see literally... it is creation versus death. Yeah, thank you. Would you rather see creation or, or death. The end of something? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> creation, like, obviously... Creation's beautiful, like, look cool, you can all see and stuff like that, mm. but... And death is horrible. It's already happened now. No, but death is horrible. Why would you want to know, like... She's basically saying creation, like... I like, like, won't change nothing, like... Not 100%. Happens. Yeah, it's not going to change anything, but I feel like at least... If you know, you know what, this is how it went. This is what was done. Da-da-da-da. Your mind is like, all right, cool. But now to know that 
how the world is ending, honey, you're going to live in fear. Because everything you do is just going to be like, oh my God, like, it's nearly the end of the world. You hear a trumpet. Oh my God, God is coming. Uh, I'm like, so in, in that case, would you rather know how, how you would die or when you would die? How, how I would die. Not when. How? how? Yes. Yeah. When is, I'm never leaving would, my house. I don't know when. No. No. no because back if they told you tomorrow, they will. Yes, I will live my life till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> if they told me, outside. they told me car crash, I'm going to be thinking every time I get in the car, I'm going to die. Mm. No, I don't want to know, know when. when. What? I want to know like, how. How would create more fear? Yeah. Fit, no. How, bro. At least Always I know. Thinking, oh. They say, say they say your best friend's going to stab you. Bro, I'm going to stab oh, you shit, before so you stab me. Like, yeah, like, you don't know when <laughs> it's going to happen. Brother, bro. I'm going to kill you before you kill me since I know that you're but gone, bro. You know your current best friend? It might be a best friend in the future. Yeah, Fair enough. Bro. Then I'm killing every best friend that comes <laughs> along. How is that? You're crazy. If I know, bro, if I know when... No, what the hell? I need to get rid of you, I guys. I know when. I can be Yes. So you'll never have anyone close to you ever. Bro, that's scary because I know one of you guys are going to kill me. So why can't I get rid of you first before you do it to me? you just rather not know? Nah, I need to know what's happening. She can kill all of them. <laughs> I can't lie, bro. That's, that's nuts, bro. Because I feel like when it's too, like, I don't feel like I'm going to be at ease. Like, I know exactly the date. I don't know what time, but I know, like, this is the end of me. But deep it, say it, they, like, say it says, yeah, you're going to die in a car crash. Would you rather know that you're going to die in a car crash or you're going to die in two years' time on this date? Because they tell you a car crash, like, you're going to be thinking every time you get in that, a car, you're just going to die. That's going to create way more fear for you, bro. Like, mm-hmm. say you get into my car, oh, I might die. Yeah. <laughs> the day you find out when, I'll be so proud thinking, do you get how it? Is, am I going to die? You could be sitting down. I feel like they're both as yeah, worse. But but I'll, I'll create a checklist for myself. You know what? I've got to do this. I've got to yeah. do that. Like, I'm not going to turn some sort of positive from that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like knowing how, cool, I just know how I'm going to die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, but, hey, still... Cool. Next segment in yeah, basically, past weekends, yeah, I've been asking my snap here yeah, to send in that like, the relationship dilemmas in it. Mm-hmm. So us the panel basically gonna be giving our advice and like seeing what they do. Cause man's reading it and it's it's, tough. it's crazy stuff. Mm, like. So I mean pick a nice one. People be suffering. I'm telling you, in this life, ee, I don't right, want cool. no hot. So harder. one that I've got, yeah. Listen yeah. Barrett, I think I like my best friend. We are currently doing a thing, but not including sex because we're both virgins. But it, but this is the most comfortable I've ever been with a boy in my life. And I'm scared I won't be as comfortable with anyone else. I don't know what to do. Please help. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, right. see Lawrence. I think room. I like my best friend. Mm. And we are currently doing a thing, but not including sex because we're both virgins. Mm-hmm. But this is the most comfortable I've ever been with a boy in my life, and I'm scared I won't be as comfortable with anyone else. I need help. So they're basically talking to each other. Yeah, they're but they're friends. best friends. But they're best friends. They're best friends. Yeah. And they're both virgins. I feel like p- me personally, if I had a like a boy best friend, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that way. Like only because if you guys, it couldn't <coughs> go two ways. If it goes mm-hmm. that one way, when you actually end up happy and live together forever, mm-hmm. first, it? but I'm more realistic. I personally feel like if you guys break up it's not a thing where you can just break up you all the memories you had as best friends mm. personally i wouldn't want to ruin that but they should 100 percent have a conversation about it to each other beforehand so they should end it where it is or see where it's going like they should talk about it now before mm. it gets worse talk about it to to, to, to get each to other what? to say like oh so where do you see this going like what do you think we should do mm. so because i feel like she's or he is talking as if they haven't had that conversation that's right definitely, definitely have a conversation but she needs to go for it, in my opinion, bro. Like, Barack. Well. Come it's on, not, man. Not go for it. Like, speak about it first. Yeah. See where his head is at. See where your head is at. They're, do, they're, 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 they're doing a thing friends. already. Like, yeah, they're doing they're a thing. best friends. So they've already crossed that line. Yeah. But then I feel like best friends is, like, the most complicated thing you could ever do. Like, I feel like you have more issues with your best friend or with someone who was once upon a time your best friend than someone you were just meet. Because mm. I feel like that's history. Like, do you get it? Like, there's so much more to it. Yeah. And then going into life. a relationship, like, ruining it, it's just like, raw. Right, like... I feel like it's already ruined, though. Really? They're really cross that line. Like, no, yeah. fair enough, but they're still, like... They're still... Ha- yeah, you know, they're still virgins, you know, yeah. like, there's still time. She said she's Like, would you actually yeah. your best friend? 
Huh? Would you like to lose, lose your girl best friend? Oh, no, no, no. no. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So you lose, if you like talk to someone, like if you're talking to a random person and then you guys stop talking, it's just like, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah like no, there was exactly. nothing more to yeah, it. Yeah, at least you like went this. straight into it. Mm. Yeah, but friends, it's, I think it's more complicated. Then what if it goes right? What if yeah, it goes very right? Fair enough, if exactly. You see, it's just, risk, yeah. Everything's risky. Maybe I'm telling you. But doesn't this like make you guys scared now like, when it comes to like, you're chatting to someone that has a, a best friend? Yeah. It, no, nah. like my man, I can't really. Like, I I really really can't. Like my man can't have a girl best friend at all. At all. Even if they were already friends from years back. I'm not gonna lie. I don't understand why it has to be <clears throat> best friends. Like why can't you just be friends? Like I hear it. Like so. Like when you two stuff, get together, they should. She should. Like just step back a bit. That like, personally, if I had, <laughs> yeah, but it's saying step back a bit and then step like, back a lot. I don't know. Like mm. me personally, like I wouldn't be like a thing where like you can't have a girl best friend kind of thing. But if they already had a girl best friend, I'll just be looking at you a bit sideways kind mm. of thing. Because some certain times, like a girl, the girl best friend can actually be nice, like literally mm. girl best friend. But there's some girls that are wicked and actually like their boy best friend, just waiting for the right time. And I think it's all complicated and stuff. And I just mm. don't. Do you have a boy best friend? No. But would you ever have one though? If it gets to that, yeah, but. I'm not fast. So right say now. you had a, a a guy best friend, yeah, mm-hmm. and you and you meet a man, and he comes and says, "Oh, like I don't feel right with that." Like I'll hear where he's coming from, and obviously talk to my boy best friend and say, "Listen, like mm-hmm. my man feels a bit uncomfortable. I feel like we should not keep our distance, but like just you know what I mean." Because I just personally feel like I don't mm-hmm. want to, that mix. At what all. are you? Oh, we're besties, aren't we? Yeah, but but <laughs> <laughs> we are. But I feel like if you're going, and I don't know, it's like I feel like there's I've known Barrett for many years. So if I'm talking to someone, and it's just like you know what, like this is my boy bestie, like he will come around to the house, da da da. But like it's nothing to it. Like I don't feel like you need to feel like oh my god, like he could be doing this, or if he wanted to, he could do this with you. Like, it's not that thing, but I feel like you just have to be, not even, I don't want to say, like, us girls have to be confident in our relationship because some of you guys will be like, you have girl best friends, but you G'd her. But you haven't told mm. us that, but she's your best friend, though. <laughs> she's your best yeah. friend. Hundreds. And you'll be like, nah, like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, nah, nah, we're good. Like, we're just close. Like, I wouldn't feel comfortable knowing that you guys had a history, but you just kept it to friends because it didn't work out. So then it's just like, bro, like, you're doing too much. Like, you got, she needs to step back or, like, this can't go anywhere, like, mm. nah. But let's say, like, you've now spoken to this best friend. Mm-hmm. She, she's a nice girl. Like, she's very calm. She's happy to communicate with you, you mm-hmm. know. Would that be all right? Yeah, of course yeah, it's going to be all right. Be because, like yeah, yeah, I feel like you have the intention of not wanting to do anything. Yeah. Or it's not a malicious thing. Like, I'm truly just his best friend. Like, there's mm-hmm. nothing more to it. And I'd be like, yeah, cool. Like, I'm fine with that. But then he... Them best friends that do too much, they're just like, exactly. eat, eat, no, honey, please. It's like, like a half like, Yeah, back, like, hey, bestie. <laughs> You're hugging and wrapping your legs. Yeah. No, that's yeah. not your bestie, yeah. bro. So, yeah. so, so what's her, what's our actual advice to her? Start for me, like, final advice to the girl. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like, in my head, I feel like you guys are both starting a new chapter together. Do you get it? Like, he has no history of girls. You have no history of boys. And you feel like there's a real bond. So I feel like, talk to him. See where it goes. See where he's at. And if both of you guys both agree on what you guys want to do on how to move on forward, then I say you go for it, it. Because then again, we can't tell you, oh, don't go for it. But then again, it'll be like, no, this could have been something in the long run and I missed out on it. So to be honest, I feel like just take the risk, especially if you know how your male bestie is and his intentions. I say just shoot for it, it. Next question, yeah. Hi, my man tells me he loves me, but also he's not ready for a relationship. Do you think men generally can't be ready for a relationship or do you think the right person, they will be ready? Like, I understand when you're not where you want to be financially and mentally, Mm. it affects them. But yeah, I probably sound crazy, but I know he loves me, but it's love enough at this point. That's a lot to unload. Yeah. I hear it. You have to break it down. I feel like he's being quite selfish. Mm-mm. No, he's been he's been very very self not very selfish but selfish to the point where it's like if he knew he wasn't ready for that type of relationship, why does it get to the point where you like feelings are actually involved for you to still say? Hmm, are they together? Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it's said my 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 man. So it's not her man. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, why does it get to a point where 
you basically love each other and he still doesn't want to cuff you because I personally feel like if he really wanted to, he would. Like, I feel like not everything's about the money mm. and everything like that. It's not. Yeah, but can you blame him for thinking that though? Like in the life that we live now, could you blame him for thinking that? Cool, I'm not where I want to be financially. Let me just like leave her. Alone. Yeah, that's, he something. should have left her alone from the beginning. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like but, he's not think. I feel like you don't. Boy and boys say that. I don't think they're. Um, what's it called? They just wake up six months into the relationship, whatever, mm. and say, hmm, you know what? I'm not ready for it. They always know they're not ready for it. I personally feel like so he waited too late. Boom. That type of nah, conversation, man. I, mm, I don't, I don't feel like you just, bonds, you. Know, I feel like you going into something knowing damn well I'm not ready for it. You're a bad mind. Exactly. Like there's no way you can go into something knowing you know what. Like this is just nothing. Like it's just you know you're just here. Like there's nothing to it. Yeah. Like nothing less to it. I don't think the girls are gonna understand, bro. Nah, no, man. no, but that's the thing. Though. To be honest, you're, I agree with you because it, not, but I agree with you because before I used to think raw like. Why would you talk to me? Da, 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 and you're not ready. I don't know why you're not ready. Do you get it? Like mm. some males don't actually express why they aren't ready. Mm. I feel like us girls, we just jump into conclusion and we speak for the man, but we don't actually ask them like, what is it though? Like, yeah. do you get it? Like, what is it like? Like, what are you not ready for? What's pushing you back? And then you'll have other people just saying, you know what? Like, I feel like I want to give you more in a relationship, but I can't give it to you because I personally feel like I'm not where I'm at. So we can't. This is not gonna go anywhere because I don't feel comfortable with where I'm at. I'll be like, you know what? I hear it. So what, would you call him selfish for that. I wouldn't call him selfish for that. <laughs> but then you for you to stay in a re- <laughs> to a certain extent, yeah. like, to just a certain extent, like it's not marriage that she's asking for. It's yeah, just it's just like, if it was marriage, yeah, then yeah. if it was marriage, then I understand. Okay, cool. You're not ready for this, this, and that. But if it's just like a relationship, like you're basically in a relationship to the point where you love each other. So why can't you just just make it official? Bro, Kind of like thing. the question, like the last part was love isn't enough. Like I don't think love is enough anymore, bro. It's like, not. If it was just about love, he probably would have cuffed her if that's what he really wants to do. But mm. obviously, my man knows that with a relationship and love, it comes with like expenditures and that spending mm. peas on her stuff like that. And he's probably thinking, I'm not in a place where I can do that. Mm. I love her, but can I spend this money on her? I can't. Yeah, no. do you get? Yeah, he's that just his the type fault. Of girl that he's with. Kind of thing. So well, that's, I, that's, that's, that's every girl though, man. Mm. Like, no, even the most humble girl would probably expect some sort of, like, going no, on dates. Girls, certain girls actually would just like the... Certain girls would actually just like, you know, the company, the that type of vibe. It's not every day about the money thing, I think. And I don't feel like it's more like... I just feel like just a little appreciation. I don't really ask for too much. No, like, just tiny, you know? <laughs> it would even be one pound flower. Hey, thank you. At least you thought about me when you were making your way here. Do you get it? Like, I don't need it to be... More, like pricey like you know what I was thinking about you here's a chocolate thank you babe or here's your drink thank you mm. like just little things like that we're not asking for yeah. too much some people don't ask for a lot do you yeah. get it some girls are just here like but that small thing you're doing is just a big impact like I just want to do that for a girl I actually want to be able to like oh babe you know I saw this on yeah. <laughs> do you get it <laughs> but I just can't do it <laughs> I just can't do it see how I'm saying you haven't met the right person yeah no you actually that. you yeah. for value I haven't you. met her I haven't met her <laughs> 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 Personally, I feel like I feel like it's more of like he he likes her, but you don't um, want to commit to her. Mm-hmm. Not yet. But I feel like he just doesn't want anybody else to have her. You know how certain boys yeah. think like that. Do you get what I mean? So that's you why. You got that one person alive. Yeah, that we want that. No one else can have. Yep. Yeah. Cool. I right. got one more question. Yeah. Mm. Do you agree? Yeah, that your girl. Do you, do you agree that your girl should be covered up unless you allow her to be wearing that like, revealing clothing? This is what we spoke about, basically. Can we say the question again? Do you agree that your girl should be covered up unless you allow her to wear reckless slash revealing clothing? I think that you know the girl that you're getting with, innit? So, mm, thank like, you. If, if, she, if she was behaving a certain way before, like, don't expect nothing too drastic. Thank you. Afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Like, be reasonable. At the same time, it goes for a girl as well. Like, you're in a relationship now. <laughs> hey, man. I can't lie, man. No, I hear it. Like, you should kind of have a touch of character, innit? Like, know what you're getting yourself into type shit. But I feel like the guys, guys are probably thinking, cool, that's not maybe when you're single. Maybe when you're mm-hmm. cuffed, you'll have a bit of, like, learn to pattern up a yeah. bit. Mm-hmm. But me, a bit yeah, me, if I see a girl and that's how she's moving, I'm just going to expect her to be like that, innit? Mm. I'm I gonna... Sorry, I don't know why, like, boys, like, 
when girls wear clothes, they think it's for them. Like certain girls actually like the outfit. If, if it's revealing, it's revealing. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So why they, should they change the clothes that they like? Do you get what I mean? Because I personally feel like certain girls just wear outfits because they look nice. If it's revealing, then fair, isn't it? But boys assume that girls will go out wearing revealing clothes for them. Do you don't, get what I mean? Don't you think that girls do that though? No, because that's like, guys... you, know when, like, you know when girls get like raped and stuff like that and then they then people say, like, oh, what were you wearing? Like, why are they Yeah, and then they'll be wearing? like, yeah. You know what I mean? So at I the same time, like, it's a thing where like, like, you're going out into the world where you're going to be meeting a whole bunch of guys. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? So they're going to see you. It's like... Yeah, to be able to, you can't yeah. pretend like they don't exist. No, but hundred percent. But it just depends on the woman that you choose. Mm. You like you're with. Like, let's say for example, I can go in with a battery rider, and like short crop top or something oh, like that. But I know at the end of the day, <laughs> I've got a man. So you move it to me. I'm not interested, bro. Mm. I'm wearing what I want to wear because exactly. this is what I liked. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna know that. Like at the end. Of... No, like, you... really, really. let's be honest. Like even though you might have a man, for example, mm. when you go out, do not like. You know the girl, like you know the boys are gonna like what you're wearing. Mm-hmm. Like, like, you know like, what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen. You boys are dogs anyway. You like anyway. It's true. But this is. I'm so sorry, bro. I could I could look bummy and someone stop you. Oh my god, I like what you're wearing. Would you not feel the type of way if you go out looking nice and even no COVID must stay? <laughs> like, would you not feel a way if you go out makeup looking nice, outfit TT, mm. and not one guy tries to move to you? Like, would you not feel like? Oh. Not really. It's not no, I, what? You're so lying. lying. What? <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. I'm glad <laughs> you said that. No. no. Actually, hear it like this. If I'm stepping out, more time, I'm going like, to get what I mean. Mm. Like, I know you get. If it's one day and someone doesn't like, come and approach me, okay, like, I don't think it's that deep, but I don't expect a boy to move to me 24 No, not that it's that deep, but let's say you, you're mm-hmm. looking at yourself and you're thinking, right, I look amazing. Exactly. Like, not, I think that's no, exactly, no, no but that's fine. You, Of course, you, yeah. you're, you're your biggest hype man. 100%. 100%. Like, but when you go out, you need to know that like, my look needs to give these look like, wow, she looks great. I need to at least be complimented by one person, bro. Like, you. all of you guys are all walking lie, past bro. me and you're just looking at me up and down. Are you, you not going to be like, oh, like... Yeah. Can yeah. I ask you something, though? Does attention feed your ego at all? Feed my ego? As a woman, yeah. Um, mm. It's nice, but I wouldn't say it feeds my ego. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm like... But you like it. You like it, right? Yeah. It's, it's nice. I like compliments from boy, like boys and girls. Like, it's not just boys that like compliments yeah, from... Like, I, like... I see, like, random girls that come up to me. Like, like a girl came up to me mm. today... She's like, oh, what's your mm. like, oh, thanks. Mm. You get what I mean? It was nice. Mm. I wouldn't mind it being from a boy or a girl. Do you get what I mean? And then I feel like I get more hyped when girls girl compliment. Ha- yeah. Because yeah, I feel like us girls, when it comes to complimenting each other, Don't hi, what? Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's just like, it's too stubborn. With boys, it's just like, you yeah. know, it's out in the open. Like, you're just dashing it out. But with some females, like, you're holding back, knowing damn well, like, you know, this person actually does look good. Yeah. So when I get compliments from girls, I get more gassed. It's with boys, like, you guys are dashing out compliments from the morning till night. Hey man, there's a lot of pretty girls out there. Fair man. enough, you don't get interested. <laughs> but it's just like, laughing. it's nothing more to it. Like, exactly. you'll be like, yeah, like, thank you. But when a girl is like coming up to you, it's just like more like, Better. yes, like, this is better. Not for me, boy. But like, yeah. if, like, going back to the question though, like, if um, I was told somewhere ever like that, um, I'll be more thinking in my head, hmm, maybe I went wear this, maybe. But it's like, yeah, it wouldn't like, be, yeah, it wouldn't all, be my main thought. Do you like, get what I mean? It'll be like a side thought, but I wouldn't think. If I really liked his outfit, I wouldn't not wear it because mm. of my man. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. It'll be like a side thought in the back. I think, hmm, okay, cool. Maybe I won't. Like, do you get what I mean? So you don't consider your man in all your decisions? Not all my decisions. Like, yeah, with not- my clothing, I feel like I shouldn't to a certain extent. Like, a little bit, but not, it, he wouldn't. Like, if it was a thing where, like, I talk to someone and then he's like, why are you wearing that? And he feels entitled for me to go and change I feel like that's when the relationship goes downhill from there because if he's able to change your clothing we'll start getting more thank you but do you yeah. not feel like you two are a unit now you work together so all decisions you should it should be I don't you know I just feel like partner, before you know? like when you're moving to me when you're moving to me with that same outfit that you're not liking <laughs> like exactly. come on bro what do you want me to do you yeah. move to me with the outfit that you're refusing yeah. right now like but that's what so, he's thinking he's thinking I moved to you with this outfit no but that's the thing yeah. though so you're gonna go out yeah but no but guys, you're just you're other guys no but yeah. the thing is you're just gonna have to accept how it is because at the end of the day that's how you bag me with that clothing 
So just what if accept. another guy comes and tries to back you? Guys? But he can't yeah, back if I'm happy with yeah. yeah but if I'm happy with my relationship, well, yeah, yeah, I feel like, it's boys just boys yeah. Huh? I feel like you need to boys yeah, are some say that. Say that. <laughs> boys <laughs> are insecure, but especially when it comes to pretty, pretty girls. Like I don't understand why you don't expect your girl to get moved to. It's how she deals with situation. Mm-hmm. I can't lie. It's a thing that bro. It's just mad, bro. Because like, like, I think you guys should like it. Like, nah, I don't like, like it, bro. You don't like it, nah, like you think, bro, like, man, man, you get what I mean? Don't look at her, man. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> like, 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 these, these guys can't flash you guys and they invite you onto their table and you got a man at home where are you guys going? <laughs> if what? <one. laughs> so they've invited us to their table. So they invite yeah. you to their table in the club. Yeah. they got bottles everything. Yeah. Flashy guys. But you got a man at home. If I'm with a group of girls and they say, yeah, I'm following. I didn't say, yeah. I'm just following my friends. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, you know, you know, that, bro. Like, they said yes, so I'm following my friends yeah. because I'm with my <laughs> I'm friends. My friends. I'm actually not leaving them. I'm not leaving my I'm friends, bro. Like, how would you feel if your man's in the club and he's got bare girls? At his like table? just. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 no, I actually been. How would you feel though? I mean, like. Like, we can't, like, be real, be real. Like, no, it's gonna be it. like, 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 honest. Be honest. It's gonna that's what I'm saying. Like, personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of a guy that's buzz. Do you get what I mean? Mm. So I can't expect him to have a little, you know, attention. Obviously, if his friends are all like good looking as well, yeah. so of course it's gonna be girls. Like, I'm not gonna expect him not to be around girls because he's the one to mm. someone. Everyone else is single. Do you get what I mean? Like. But what would annoy me is that you boys do too much. There's a difference with a girl being on the table and boys being on the table with yeah. girls. Yeah, but you've got bad girls on your table. They're shaking asses. Literally, yeah, yeah but that's like the same thing, though. If you go on no, the but, table and you boys on the table... table. <laughs> no, but, no, but, no, but, no, but... So this also goes to the thing of when you're, when you're, like, your girl's asking, oh, I want to go on a holiday to you, whatever, whatever, mm-hmm. with my girls and they're all single, like... Mm. The same way you just said you're going to follow them onto the table. <laughs> they're all single. They're all going to whoever's house after the motive, doing whatever, yeah. whatever. I'm going back to my home. Even so, like, me personally, like, when I, when I go on holidays with my girls and stuff like that, it's not, I don't know why everyone assumes that when girls go on holidays, they're going to go meet boys. And nah, bro. It's not every day. No, but it's not. Bro, it's not. I mean, it's actually not. I remember like, last week, I saw, you know Coco from last season's Love Island? Yeah. Mm. She said, Something about when you touch down in you, um, country. Yeah, I've oh, seen yeah. that. Why does she look way more I've sexy? Seen that. I feel like Coco just speaks. Yeah, you no, just, you're just you're just speaking. She says what everyone's thinking. Like, bro, come on. Now. Really? The, the, yeah, the, no. the video got likes. Everyone no, likes. but yeah, no. Agreeing. Just because they got likes doesn't mean like everyone. They're coming in as well. <laughs> no, yeah, but fair enough. But touching down in another country, I don't feel like it's like. Yeah, it's you feel like nah. brand new, like raw, yeah, like you know, I'm in a whole new country, but. To move wild is extreme, bro. Like, compose that. yourself. Same way you will compose yourself in the UK, compose yourself in this country. Yeah, like, I don't get how people go on holiday and then they're, t- they're different people on holiday. Like, I, I hear mm. it like, oh, no one knows you here. Thank you. Mm. And no one knows you here. Duh, 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 duh. But like, I don't understand what I have to do a madness. Like, mm. everyone's doing... I, I personally wouldn't do that on holiday. I need to fly out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what that be like, man. I see what that be like, man. No, but you boys, you've heard a new country yeah, and you guys, are worse. you guys have loads of girls in the room, bro. Yeah, but you can't do it without the girls. So the girls are on, on as well. So you're... No, but you guys are no, but you're inviting them over. Yeah, and that's no, no, but that's what no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if my mom was to say I'm going on a group on the like and I'm going on a boy, so yeah. I'm going to have a heart attack because I know while you're there and your friends are single, best believe that you're there's gonna be things that you guys are doing and you'll probably slip up. Insecure. Not even meaning to slip insecure. up. Insecure. And as you can throw the insecure card out. Yeah. No, it's in not insecure, way, it's but insecure. No, especially if you know, let's say for example. Why don't you trust man? No, let's say for example, <laughs> Barak is going now. I know, okay, his group of friends, like this is what like they're known for. Like this is what they do. Knowing that, knowing that, okay, but my man doesn't do that though. You're gonna go there, you're gonna have someone in your ear like, come on, like, yeah. bro, we've got you, we've got you, like we won't tell her. 
Yeah, single boys. What are you saying with girls? No, I'm so no, no. I feel I feel like with girls, yeah. Don't get it twisted. Like we're so we'll be close, but we'll be like, bro, you pattern up, like seriously. Yeah, no girl. Okay, cool. I've never been in a friendship where someone tagged me to do something bad while I'm in a relationship. Like you get it. Like if I'm drinking or I feel like oh I'm too drunk. Oh, Ruth, you're doing too much. Like pan up. Straight up, pan up. Like, no one's telling me, ah, go talk to him, go entertain. I've never had that, bro. You men have that one friend or even a group that'll be like, bro, do it. Like, no one's gonna snitch. Hey, you guys yeah, will snitch. They won't snitch. Yeah. Won't snitch. <laughs> you like, won't I'm snitch. That friend, but yeah, you just can't let go. You definitely know who you're going on holiday with. That's it. Like, yeah, Barack, I just know that my man is not going holiday with you. Child. For that, that's Barack. crazy, bro. Nah, bro. Barack, Barack said, do it. Holidays. I'll respect you, though. <laughs> nah. What? Respect me for what? Huh? For uh, <laughs> I respect you. For what? <laughs> 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 Where are you friends? If, yeah, if a woman has amazing qualities, such as body, looks, and is very respectful, but is lacking a bit of a bum, do you think... Wait, is she always not... Is she always not enough for dark-skinned men? Wait, what? what? <laughs> That's the same for me. <laughs> that, by the way, say that shit again. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 That's serious, guys. No, but you said no hey, bum for hey, dusk hey, guys. Hey, what? Hey. Respect the question, man. I'm trying, yeah, but it didn't make the sense. The a bit. Yes. Well, hey, what? The question. Again, the question if again. a woman has amazing qualities, such as body, looks, and respectful, but it's lacking a bit of a bum bum. <laughs> is, she, is she always not enough for dark skinned men? I would like to take this opportunity. Wait, wait, wait. Does a woman always got to think about having a voluptuous bum in 2023 still? As social media tends to showcase that perfect yeah. relationship couple's body. This question was aimed for you, by the way. Yeah, bro. It <laughs> has to be to you. You, you answer it and then we will follow it. Hey. <laughs> Brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, answer the question. Hey, <laughs> Give me the camera. Come here. Look, come here. Look, look, look. Listen, if you're a girl, white, black, mixed race, Latina, anything, yeah. Dark skin, man. Dark, anything. Yeah. Man, and you, and you haven't got the ass. It doesn't matter. Not every guy is shallow like that. You get sometimes it's the personality that counts. Bro, you're trying to shit. Yeah? <laughs> I think we'll learn this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> send it. <laughs> no, no. He like... said, "Whatever you are, yeah, bring the camera closer." <laughs> You're lying, bro. Yeah, it's not, bro, it's not that deep, man. Some guys got preferences, isn't it? Like mm. it's like some girls, some girls like guys that are six foot. But what's your preference? Yeah. Get it? That's all yeah. my preference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my preference is every dark skin guy's preference. Though. And what is like, it then? I like my slim babes, mm. so I don't necessarily like. That's is me. This is me, though. Isn't mm. it? I like my slim babes, isn't it? Like. So for me, I would, I would. Sorry, when you say, but when boys say slim, they're not talking about like slim. Slim, slim. like you guys are talking they're like talking slim fit or literally. slim, like what? No, 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 no. I mean, so slim. Would you go out with a girl that has like? Huh? Would you go out with a girl that has that like, no bum? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, first, no, no, bro. Be, be real, bro. Like, be yeah, bad. like be fucking for real. Like she's flat. Yeah, flat. like come on, you know. You... I don't think I'll be as attracted to her then. Okay. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But that just because I I I'm, I'm not doesn't mean that the next dark skin guy isn't bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it's all preference at the end of the day. Like some girls might like a six foot five guy, yeah, and I might not be that type. No, but I feel like some girls just have bare pressure nowadays because it's just yeah, like boys pressure. love yeah, this, boys love big ass, mm. boys love this, and I don't have it, so I don't feel comfortable in myself but then it's just like babe you don't even need to worry about that bro yeah, like man. someone will love you for your you body type like you get it like, I feel like once you love yourself enough yeah you don't really depend on someone else's love 100%. like that like, you know what I mean mm-hmm. um, yeah so I, I think it all comes down to like how you be yourself man mm. you have to love yourself before anyone can love you 100% some of the most prettiest girls ain't got the voluptuous body yeah. you're talking about bro, but they still Still ha- still they're still, yeah, well yeah, yeah. they believe in their own source. Hundreds. You know what I mean? So once you believe in yourself, bro, I, I feel like that energy is kind of infectious. But once guys be like, oh, like she's bad, yeah, like, bro, like, yeah. Confidence, yeah. Really like it doesn't matter what her body type is, it's just like raw, like the way you carry yourself yeah. is just like raw. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like you're constantly saying, you're just looking at what boys like. And then when you look at yourself, you just think, oh my God, like I don't have it. Like what boys are drooling over, I don't have. So it's just like social media, that's why sometimes I don't really do that. Like I don't like 
doing social media because I feel like it's just like such a put down. Like mm. there's this and you feel like, oh, like I don't have Bro, this. That, I can't. Is that time that like, you're taking the picture on your ass it looking fat and you're just like, nah, I ain't take I ain't posting that. I'm not gonna lie, back then it would just be like raw. Like my body's not showing, bro. Like, why is my body not showing? Like I feel like I want everything to show. But now it's just like, bro, you get what is given. What the photo is showing you is what you're getting. There's nothing else I can do. Mm. So, it's but, good. But the thing is, with social media, it's not like that anymore. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, like you have like, people photoshopping, yeah, like photoshop you're doing in. too much, and then you see them in real life, like yeah, all of this that you're showing, yeah, like no, it's not so what? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> these lot are going over time with photoshopping. I feel like that's those. what social media plays a big part in people photoshopping their picture. Like they'll feel like, okay, this picture, let me tweet this, but then the tweaking becomes too much. Like you've now tweaked the whole body, knowing that well you don't have, and then when people start seeing you, honey. This picture, you you don't look the same. Because then the you start crumbling. The validation comes from the likes and, and yeah, the exactly. But I feel like now that is just like I just take pictures for the sake of taking pictures for yeah. me. And if I want to post it, I want to post it. If I don't get a lot of likes on it, then I don't. I just want to yeah. say, see how people are starting. To, I see how people say social media isn't real. I feel like it's slowly becoming real now. It's real, man. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you mean it's by like real? We literally real, live real. on social media, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Obviously, it's not physical, bro, yeah. but like... What's it's the first the, thing you do when you wake up? Bro, on your phone, bro. Bro, you chat to a girl. Or I, right, when I chat to a girl, bro, I find her TikTok, her Instagram, mm. <laughs> any, yeah. any single bit of pl- like social media she like, she's on. Mm. And I go on it, bro. So you can't be that... Mm, socials ain't real, bro, car. That's literally part of like, mm. society now. It's, like, it's so funny because I saw a post as well. It was saying something like, um, who even remembers like 2016? And everyone in the comment was just like, bro, like these times social media wasn't playing wasn't a big a part. Like you get like yeah, we yeah. were living in our moment. Like yeah. if I was to go to 2016 in my camera yeah, roll, I, I wouldn't see anything. You get, there. but I remember, I yeah, <laughs> I remember. You know what? There's so much that happened on this day. There was so much that happened on this day, but I was living the moment. The like moment. I didn't have time to take out my phone Literally. to it, bro. Things I was just overrated in my opinion. Though. Really? Oh, nah, I feel like two, yeah, nah, 2016 was the best. 2022 was the best summer, bro. Oh, can't do this. <laughs> 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 no, don't get no. Twenty twenty, yeah. Summer, yeah, no. Last year was absolutely. I was inside. Like, first summer, I was like proper adults summer, and that. Your first summer, because you were doing all the parties and stuff. Yeah, no, but I feel like not, yeah, no, but I feel like that was also my first summer as well because. In other summers, like I'm not going out. Like, nah. I'll just stay at home. Mm. But then it was just like raw, like there was a lot going on for me to go. Yeah. I was, year was on the best ropes. Summer. Huh? Last year was the best summer. Yeah. yeah that was really? my best summer. I had the most fun last summer. Nah, not 2021. This summer was good, mm. it, but last summer for me, that's what I'm saying. It's all subjective, but I don't know why I ever say 2016. Yeah, like what's up? 2016 was, was like, a lit year. What's good about that? No, 2016 was a lit year. year. <sighs> Yeah, the music. No, yeah, but that's the thing. No, but you know what's so just funny? You see how she just asked you what was good about it. You went, I can't remember. No, it's not. Yeah, it's not about remember. It's just like, bro, you can't say what was great about two If you were there, you were there. If you were there, you weren't there. We're just young. We're just young. Thank you. Like no responsibility. No nothing. Yeah, you just. Oh yeah, I was just curfew. That's it. Amen. What a year. That's it. Oh, yeah, all right, cool. Spell and be. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to give you guys a spell. Guys, I can't spell. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Not on the spell. Yeah, I'm steady. I can't allow I'm going to give you a spell and be. Nah, we'll brother. We'll start with you. Why me? I just said I can't spell. I, I, give her a word. Give her a word. Give her a word. Yeah, send it to me. Yeah, send it to me. How is it for you? I like it. Yeah, say it. Say it. But Something easy, good. I'm going to say soft. it again into that mic in it so they can... Spell and be. Spell and be. Spell and be. Fusia. Hey, I'll be real, that is the first time I've ever heard that yeah. word. Yeah. Okay, Ruth. I'm not starting, go this way. <laughs> fusia. You cool? Your word um, is fusia. F U S C I A. What, really? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what? C H. S C H I S C H fairs, 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 fairs. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure. Why turn? Baloney. Baloney. Like, that's baloney. No, that's an food, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Alright, cool. Baloney. Baloney. <laughs> B A B A L O N. Is it E Y or just Y? Was another N. Why? Mm. E Y. Mm. Double N Y. 
Mm. And by the way, he was sent up with N Y. God damn it. Oh, Wait, but what? Like bolognese. Yeah. Like, okay. Bologna. Yeah, bologna. Oh. 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 No. There's a G in bologna, apparently. No, bolognese is bolognese, a G. Yeah. yeah, but it comes from that word, I think. No, but what? Anyway. Isn't bologna like, hey, man. Uh, hey, yeah, man, like, <laughs> girl. Hey, man. Uh-uh. Yeah. Come on, that's long, <laughs> bro. That's a whole paragraph. Worcestershire. W. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Worcestershire. Like Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah. Worcestershire. Yeah. W. Yeah. O. R. No. Wood. Wait. Say it again. <laughs> Can you repeat the word now? <laughs> <laughs> Worcestershire. Wood. Wood. No. Yeah. No. Nah, nah. Nah, wait. Nah, Worcestershire. Wood, Chestershire. No, no, no. no Worcestershire. Oh, w, so, oh, I was correct so far, wasn't I? I'm not going to let you know if you're great. But I was correct when I first started, didn't it? Hey, cool. W O R C. No. Say the word again. He, he said the word. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. W O R C H E. S H I R E. Let me do that one. We're just a share. Okay. W O R C E. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, no, the, the, the yeah. Oh, yeah. Now give me another one. That was too hard. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Playwright. Playwright. P-O-A-Y-W-R-I-T-E-R. Oh, what That's is it? That's a G in it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah G-H-T in it. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. Go on, I don't say all oh, right. Spell it again, then. Spell it. <laughs> 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 like she got yeah. it, bro. Um, w R I G H T. Right. Or I G H T. Right. Yeah. Right, let me yeah, go on. You were trying to get on to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. Like, just... Necessary. Necessary. N E C E S S A R Y. Like, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can't spell that word. No, no, yeah. it is. Yeah. I, I, I can't spell that word. Bro. That word's low. Yeah. 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 Necessary. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I need that one. Yeah, no, That's but. It's another word that I can't spell. Man. Sacrilegious. Hey, man. Religious. Sacrilegious. 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 Who's that for? That's A C R E R E L I G I O U S. Sacrilegious. Psycho. Uh, say the word, what? say the word. <laughs> Sacrilegious. S A C R E R E L I G I O U S. Is it S A S A C R I? Sacrilegious. Sacri- like sacrifice. So S A C R I R E G. Oh no, R E L I G O U S. I O U S. Nah. Got it. S A C R I L E G I O U S. Sacrilegious. Oh, I'm saying sacrilegious. Sacrilegious. Hey, cool. We get to it. Huh? Yeah, last topic here. Cool. Let me just pull my shit, man. Let me pull my shit, man. Let me pour it. I do have a question, though. Just a random one. Yeah, like, like just out of the box. Yeah, it's very random. Like, what do you know? I know how many countries are in the UK. Why would you ask me that? <laughs> that that question, I'm, I'm confused. I, it's it's IWAP. <laughs> wait, wait, into the, <laughs> into the, like, into the, no, because it's hairless. either UK is the country, or is the, <laughs> or is the England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales is the countries. Mm. How, I don't know what the answer is, but mm. I know it's out of them two. That's so crazy, yeah. Because when you put country, what does it say? UK. Well, UK. I thought UK was a country, but it's out of those two. So which I'm one is it? I'm pretty sure England is the country. What? You know, but no. automatically, it just, when you're... Uh, well, you're a lot more right than you. <laughs> Wait, England, England's not a country. Yeah, it's a it, country. It's a country. country. Yeah, yeah, but... How many? I said in the UK. I'm in the, the UK, in the UK England, 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 Scotland, 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 Northern Ireland, though. 
Yeah, Scotland and Wales. Because yeah, I swear, Ireland beef each other. It's isn't Northern Ireland. Yeah, Ireland Northern is a separate Ireland. country. Oh, okay, it's cool. Cool. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's that, right? Okay, yeah. Cool. Oh, shit, wait, wait. All right, before we get to the last topic, yeah. Mm. That's when I, I saw something, yeah. I want to know what you guys think about this. Where you find it? Um, It says, we broke up two days ago and this girl's already on a date with another man. Not his business, but oh no, two <laughs> days come. Wait, how no, long? I'm just saying, it's not his business. Where did you find the guy he, in two days? Really, I'm not gonna, that's what's shocking no, to me. Is I personally feel like it wasn't like it was just to do it out of spite, it no. wasn't like it's a guy that she's talking to. I feel like it's a thing where, like, maybe she's a really, really pretty girl, a boy previously asked her wants to go out, and then she just accepted the she offer. Just, she accepted the offer mm. as soon as they broke up. Do you get what I mean? So like, I don't think it was there, yourself up but that's there, the thing yeah. though. So it was there, but exactly. the breakup there, pushed you time, to go. Bro. No, but like, you know, when boys will be like the first thing they say, and like the first thing the boy says in the DM is like, Oh, I want to take you out. She might have not answered that message then, but then when you guys, yeah, but why up, are you going back to it though? I was like, like, I personally feel like she, it's not a boy. Yeah. That she liked in the past, whatever. Like I feel like I don't know. Sure, like, that, that just confuses fight. me. Like two days. Like, yeah, seriously, you didn't even give it a week. Yeah, planned, it's, organized it's a it yeah. <laughs> get, you get it. Like it is a drag, you've planned the whole outfit. Yeah, like, but... certain people are actually really, really petty. Like, I think she's only trying to show. Yeah, that she that can move she on if she wanted to. Yeah, yeah. But that's nothing new. Of course. But realistically, wait, why am I actually shocked that she's going on a date? You niggas, the day before you've heard. You know your ex cheated. <laughs> how did you get that way, and how did you find yourself there? Go on. They, they always find a way to <laughs> no, yeah. but no, because I'm deep in it. We're getting onto this girl for going on a date. That's only two days. That's two days. You guys will break up your ex, and you're entertaining someone, or you've cheated them. The next day, how do? No, I can't lie. If he's cheated someone, let's say he's putting work. Do you care? Like he's definitely, he's definitely yeah. marinated in there. Yeah. No, but this is like someone he's been talking to. You don't just find someone and cheat them. But the question was... No, yeah, she went on a date. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Two days, but now I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she like the yeah. Wrong. The girl is wrong. We've, esta- yeah. Yeah, like, We've established that. But now it's your go, turn. Would you guys go on a date though? Like two days after? Two days? Nah. I don't think I could. If I broke up my girl, two days? Nah. That's a vibe. Cool, I'm listening to a young boy. A girl two, uh, two days later, but like no one will find out about it. You don't post it, nothing. Like, you literally just go on a date. Come on, be real. It's London though. No, but that's yeah, what I'm saying, like, like, no, saying hypothetically, nobody would find out. If I don't think I'll do it. Two days later. You but wouldn't do it. Because of social media. If I generally like the girl, do it. Yeah. I'm just going to fuck girls for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. You know what like, 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 when guys go through a breakup, we work on ourselves, bro. Yeah, when man. girls go through a breakup, they... Hey, Speak man. for some. <laughs> hey, yeah, and let's stop it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I say, cool. I'm pretty sure that like, we're all familiar, yeah? Well, let me find it. We're all familiar with the whole um, blue face and Christian rock mm-hmm. situation, yeah. Do you feel like we're like witnessing the whole domestic abuse situation unfolding? Hundred percent, like live. Yeah. If so, who's the victim? Both of them. Really? Yeah, both of them. You know what it is? I find it funny because it'll be like people are calling blue face for an interview, asking him like, "Do you find it crazy what she's doing?" But why no one? Why is no one calling her in for an interview? She's going to free something, bro. Like you guys are just asking blueface da 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 because she's live, or like you know, being the domestic one da da da. But we don't know behind closed door what blueface is doing to Krishan. Like we see what she's doing live, bro, but he's hiding what he's doing. Like fair enough, yeah, it's sad on both point. But bro, what are you doing to her? Because she can't be this crazy for no reason. Like yeah, what are you doing? Like, I do agree with that, like, bro. There's, like something has to have caused this, <laughs> like. Yeah, but she was, there's no yeah. way she was always like... Because there's no way that there's all the clips, no way she's a normal no, human really. being. Well, we've seen her just around girls and how she moves when she's around girls and pretty face isn't in there. And like, she's, but she's acting normal, though. No, she, bro, have you not seen, what's it called? Is it baddies? Yeah. yeah. Bro. That's but that's a show, no, but that's a show, though. Like, they need to fight and do all the... She was going out with Blueface during Baddies. Yeah, but you can't play Blueface for how she's moving when she's not with him, though. No, but that, no, but that, 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 that yeah, no, but it's not that. Yeah. That show is based on girls fighting, fighting and doing all of that. That's the, what the show is based on. It's like Bad Girls Club. Like, everything yeah. is there because you, you have an attitude problem yeah. or you're fighting someone. That's what the show is for. But so, if it was another show, I don't think she would be acting like that. Like, mm. what's the reason for acting like that? The show is not based on you fighting. Hey, man. So they're both victims, yeah. Hundred percent. I don't think they're both victims. Bro. Nah, I think they're both. both I, but that's the thing, though. But even with that, like you guys feel sorry for Blueface, but 
he can put himself out of that situation. Krishan will already establish, like she's saying, lather in yeah, interviews. You see, see, you say that, oh, so you're basically saying that like, he just leave if he wants to. He could if he wanted to. Yeah. Some if that crazy. was a girl in a position to be like, oh, she's trapped mentally, she's trapped in there. No, but you can't say that she's trapped. Like, don't get twisted. Everyone has the right to leave a situation that's not good for you. He's there knowing that it's damaging him, but he likes it. Like, what she's doing is like, it's an entertainment for him. No, bro, it has to be something because, like, bro, we've seen, like, we've seen situations where a girl's been domestically abused by her husband or whatever, Mm. and she sticks by him and that she finds it hard to leave. Mm So you don't put blame on the girl saying just leave. No, but that's you know, like, not like, like, you know not like easy. Yeah, no, no, hundred percent. But if it's just like because you've been in, it's either you've been in that relationship for way too long, yeah. or you just feel like right, like if I leave him, what am I? Like I'm nothing. Like everyone has that. Oh, I feel like I'm nothing without him. If I leave him, da, da, da. and I feel like that's the same with Krishan. Like she personally feels like if she leaves Blue, like there's no there's no reason for her to live. Like mm. her life is revolved around blue. Yeah. I feel like they're both hurting each other. Right. Like, I don't get how it got to that stage. Yeah, there must be some. Yeah, do like, you get that's what I'm saying? In like, terms yeah, of like blue face, there's, there's something that has to happen behind scene that we don't see. Yeah. Yes, they have a show, but I don't think you guys are showing everything. everything yeah. But they're both from like like mentally after families. families. Anyway, so like they're each other's comfort. Anyway, I think that's the only reason why they're not leaving the, each other yeah. because they both have that bond. That nobody else would understand. Yeah. But, yeah. but then yes. they no, you go through so much trauma together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's just become trauma babies together. <laughs> together, <laughs> bro. Yes, Even her funny. having the baby. It's not funny. Her having... I think that she's right to keep the baby. <laughs> no, she's right to keep the baby, 100%. but the baby's not gonna resolve anything that she's yeah, got not... going on with Blueface. I mean like obviously she has it's her body, so she can do what she wants to do. Hundred percent. But I feel like it depends on why she's keeping the baby. If she's keeping the baby, she's keeping thinking, the baby no. because she said she had too many abortions. Yeah, that's oh, what, yeah, okay. that's why she's keeping the baby. Yeah. Okay, but I, yeah. I thought she was keeping it just to keep blue face in the land. No. If that's she the case, then that. that's wrong in it. But obviously, fair enough in it. Man, no, no but no. even with that, I know she personally knows that a baby will never ever stop blue face from doing what he yeah. does. Yeah. Like she knows that he's blue got face a kid. Blue face, <laughs> <laughs> blue face <baby. laughs> like she already knows what he's got going on, but. Hell the toxic's man. not cute anymore. Like, you know, everyone used to be like, oh, yeah, man, I want a toxic man, baby. Yeah, like, I want a toxic baby. Yeah, I want a toxic baby. This is that definition of toxic, and it's not cute. At I'm all. so sorry. I feel like if this was ever my relationship, I yeah, couldn't do we, it. I couldn't do this. It's toxic-ness. too much, like, Mm-mm. battling every single day. Oh, she's not happy with this. He's not happy with this. Yeah. So, so you're fucking. Fa- like, the whole toxic thing. Like, let's just chill out on that, man. Not too much, man, because. <laughs> What? You got I feel like you girls like a bit of toxic stuff, man. Nah, no, not me. I feel like it's not cute anymore. Remember the other day, bro, the girls were saying they don't let even like it when the guys are on them too much. Literally. Yeah, but how's that? Them not being on them, how's that toxic, though? That's not toxic. Yeah. All right, what's toxic, then? Toxic is like, you know, like, imagine, like, a, 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 imagine me having, like, a boy does something here to me, and then I talk to him, I'll be like, person, I don't like that you've done that. Then that's spite. You're doing it just to show that you can. That's toxic. Like boys actually have to for you to get my reaction or gaslight me. That's I think that's toxic. That's and I, I wouldn't want that in a relationship. Remember, remember the other day, yeah. That I remember girls were saying, yeah. Say you're in a relationship mm. and the boy cheats on you today. Yeah. You guys have the argument, but you make up. You understand each other's point of view. Say six months down the line, and you cheat on him. You can't use what he done against, like done to you against him. Like you can't use it. Mm. Like, oh, so let's, let's say for example me. if I cheat back on him I can't give the excuse of but you did it to yeah. me yeah. I don't think that's fair of but course they, that's not they, fair they, because they you agree no they, yeah you already like forgave him whatever. yeah and so for you to go and do it is now you're just doing it out of spite now you're just trying to be even yeah. mm. if that's the case just don't be in a relationship if you, you just want to get even even exactly. even see that's toxic like, that's yeah, too yeah you see okay I have one question you disagreed so Huh? Yeah, you like oh nothing. So what's to- do you like toxic relationships? Then no, I don't like toxic, girl? man. I don't like toxic. But I feel like Please. girls. I feel like girls. Girls don't like. Girls don't like. Too much, like, bro. Like I just don't girls love drama. Yeah, you need a little bit of drama to survive through the relationship. Balance, Otherwise, they'll get bored. When it's I feel, too good, bro. No, I f- just... no. I feel like I can't do drama, bro. Like seriously, especially with your partner. Like what are we fighting over now? Like, it's just tiring. We're going back and forth. We're going back and forth. And then I what? I heard that you guys don't like, that you guys don't like when the guys are too available for you. Like, text them and he replies straight away. You don't like oh, that. Oh, no. I was just talking about that. I, like I complain when people are replying within five hours. 
Crazy. These other girls are totally opposite. Oh, when they want, they didn't want the boy to respond to them straight away. Yeah, they're like, bro, like be busy sometimes. What? Like, yeah. like no, I will call you. Be... No, yeah. I hear it. Like, if they're responding <laughs> quick, if they're responding quick, I like, I, I would like that. But if it's like a thing where I'd be like, oh, what are you doing? Chilling. What are you doing? Chilling. What are you doing? Chilling. It's mm. everyday chilling, chilling, chilling. Yeah. I think, hmm, like, what are you doing? Like, no, like, but I feel like boys have different meanings of chilling. Yeah, chilling. Do you get it? Like, chilling, chilling is not yeah, always yeah, chilling, yeah. Chilling, chilling can be anything. But do you get it? Yeah, but if no, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, but obviously, if you know. Chilling, man. No, but obviously, like, if you know, if you know what your boy's on, like, if you know what your man's on, kind of thing, like, if he does whatever. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, but like, you. First week, you kind of know what they're on. Like, you, you ask them, like, what really? do they do? Yeah, like, how long do you have to find that out first week? Yeah, I mean, they will tell you, like, their schedule's on a regular day. Oh, but then, so then what, I get... I when feel it comes like, to talking stages, how long is too long? There's never too... I personally feel like too long is not too long. Like, how long do you link up? How, how, how long do you meet each other? If I actually like you, I feel like within a week. Thank you. I was just about to say that within a week. Yeah. Because no, we've been speaking for a week. I say a month, bro. A month? <laughs> but a you month. haven't seen the person? No. Yes, bro. no. Bro, that's too long. Me, I, I actually have like, I'm scared to meet new people, bro. I barely don't think it, bro. But I'm, nah, I know you are, though. You, you just start yeah. stuttering. Yeah, bro. I start, and I get a bit awkward around new people. Yeah. So within that month, I'm talking to you on the phone, Snapchats. I know like your vibe meant to meet. I'm comfortable around you, bro. Like, mm. Within a week, yeah. Sorry. Mm. I think you've been a week. Like, I think you've been a week, but it's not to, not because I like you. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but What's still, like, area? the first week, you can easily, like, see the type of vibe. And obviously, the first thing shouldn't necessarily be, like, a house thing. I like, just quickly go out to, like, you know. Thank you. Bro, I'm going to be shy, bro. No, but... Go out with you. I'm going to be so shy. No, no, but that's like the thing. You. No, but that's the thing, though. You having to wait for a month is worse because you're a shy person. Yeah. Get out of the way. See their vibe. See, like, bro, you know what? I, can't, I fuck with this person. Da, da, da. Exactly. Start getting comfortable with them. But you waiting for a month, you're delaying yourself from getting yourself used to getting comfortable to them. Exactly. Because that shyness well. you're still, is still going on. Just understand you yeah. why you, be sh- you uh, I can't speak, why you would be shy. Because mm. it's been a week. Yeah, but if you're on a date with a guy and mm. he's shy, you're not going to probably want to link him again, bro. No, you can still No, shy. but I didn't, I didn't both of that. you guys are shy, though. You're both yeah, shy. You're you both... don't like, you don't know what's going on. You don't know how this day's going to go. But then you're going to have to come out of it because it's not just us to you. Like, I have no choice. Yeah, do you get it? So how long would you mm. link a girl? Like, if you're, it's not like a random girl. Like, it's just one thing. Like, you're you talking to, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you actually see it going somewhere. I feel like a week is fine. A week is crazy. I can't. Yeah, it's too quick, man. No. I feel like I'd rather want to see how you look first of all in person. In person. And more time, boys will look the same. No, yeah, no. Months, no. Like, like, no. Like, Don't get interested. Yeah, I can see what, a video. Actually, you like about their age. I mean, they're, they're high. Boys, I, I have experienced it, but boys actually do like because you know, like a girl's five six is a different to a boy's five six. Five, so six. They can say they're five but six. It's the same. Thing. No, <laughs> no, right. no a girl's five six is. Like if you see a boy, like for you lot, like if you have a you know, like a friend that's five six, I'm five six. I'm definitely taller than the boy that's five six. You get what I mean? So if I hear that uh, a boy saying he's five ten, realistically he's not five ten. So that yeah, first boys. week, I need to see. How tall? Yeah. Because if I get some feelings are involved and I see you and it's like. Yeah, like, you get what I mean? Like a little inch onto that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know that one. That's not it. Like seriously, yeah, one week just to see the looks and stuff like that. Because imagine you're talking to a girl for one month and she's not like physically how you thought she would look. That's very mm. like common. that. Actually, common story. Hot line. But if that in the week, me, is better. But that's what I'm saying. Month. Yeah, thank you. Happened to you one time, yeah. bro. I, bro, I took that girl to a jerk center, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she got. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I wasn't happy the way she Barrett. looked. She just got some jerk pork and chips, bro. Barrett. It's, it's just like, like yeah. Oh, okay, cool. It's leg though. It's leg. It is nice, yeah. but to bring a girl to that sport, so dude, that's wild. Show. Is it like a takeaway? Is it like, sit in the car and watch that. Really? Shit. Yeah. So, where, 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 <laughs> where uh, that's wild. Huh? Nah, to go? it wasn't even like we linked up, bro. Like she just, she was in the area. Yeah. I was at home. I was baked, bro. Like, yeah. I had no intention of seeing her that day. Mm. So, hey, I'm in the area. I just pulled up my first time seeing her. Yeah. yeah. How long was it like? Had you been talking? Like, we were not talking like that, but you knew each other. Yeah, we knew yeah. each other type okay. shit. So had you seen each other before? Ever? Nah, 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 yeah. nah. Uh, Check center. But I was still respectful. Like she mm, thanked yeah. me for to that. Oh, thank you for staying. Da, 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 da. Like it was nice in that, but she wasn't how you thought she'd look. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Hey, See? man. But that's what I'm saying. It's better. I mean, that's why, that's yeah. Within a week as well. That's another reason why I want to link you in a week because 
I personally feel like I want to, for our first meet, I want you to see me looking that like, good. Like you FaceTime me at home, you kind of you shouldn't be getting that type that of look straight yeah. away. Like, you should right. actually yeah. you know, you get me. So like one week, little texting, maybe phone calls and stuff, see me in real life. And then from that point, you know, cool, this is what I look like in real life. Mm. And now we can, you know, take steps back and you FaceTime me a bit more because you know what I look like in, mm. in real life. Do you know what I mean? But like with you lot, when it comes to like relationships and stuff, how long do you like a good talking stage for you, do you think? Or do you think it's not? Good talking stage. So after the talking stage, it means relationship, right? Yeah. Mm. Like when you like watch after. Um, you, wait, hold on. Before you answer that, and before that, do you guys need confirmation from your boys? Before. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Right, after, after. <laughs> talking stage, anywhere from three to six months. Mm. I am so okay, sorry stage. to that girl who's dealing with him because three to six months. How long do you? will still be like. Cool, what's, so what's the talking stage and then you've got dating? No, but you're saying talking stage, no, then wifing. Like, yeah, that talking stage is then like, you're, for that, during that talking stage, you guys are going on dates, doing whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Is it yeah. mutually exclusive? Like? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, obviously, first month don't really yeah. count because like, obviously you're not yeah, talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're talking to. Then it gets to like, probably like a certain point where you think, okay, oh, cool, we're going to be exclusive, da, 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 then relationship. So how long after oh, Okay, for the exclusive. Okay. Yeah. Three yeah. to six months. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. I'm like, I ain't have to go on a set, bro. So I actually don't know how to answer that, fam. Mm. This is just how I would. Mm. Yeah, ideally, like, talking stage for men, it will be... So, cool. I want to get exclusive. I feel like after the first date, if I like the first day, I can't like, I want to be exclusive <laughs> with you. Mm. I feel like the way no, you look, yeah. like the way I look, there's a good date. Bro, we don't need any Yeah, else, you really, yeah. Obviously, I ain't cuffed you yet, but... You know what it is, yeah. yeah. Mm. In terms of coughing, maybe then it'll probably like maybe two months. So three months, I'll say. Yeah. Really? Damn. No, but let's say for no, but <laughs> no, let's say for no. example, no, it's never that. It's that like, six. yeah, no, but what? it's different though. Let's say for example, like, That's not you're looking at this guy, you know? but you know when us girls, we have yeah. this thing of, right, I see like well, a future. Yeah. Like, so do you get them. like, since I see a future, let me bag it now. Like, you, you know, like, mm. let me, we might as well just. Still the deal now. Like, we don't need to wait. Like, we know where it is already. But then you're always going to have that other person. It's just like, mm, let me just weigh it out more. Let's go longer and see it in the That's long true. run. Yeah. I had to change my, my answer to six months as well. Six yeah. Months. Yeah. I'd say, yeah. You see, when a guy cuffs a girl early, I don't feel like it's love. I feel like it's more lust. Literally. Yes. I feel like he's trying to take you off the market to make you his. Yeah. So. It'll be so fun for those first yeah, few months. Yeah. yeah. The then honeymoon then phase. And then boom. <laughs> Like, um, yeah, we need to pass that honeymoon stage. To yeah. Think if I actually really do like you, yeah. or because personally, me, I just I get bored quickly. But then, if I if I'm with you straight away, then there's no fight, like, there's no like fighting for anything at this point. Like mm. I got you now. It's, like, it's you know done. I mean? Yeah. And I feel like I need to know enough about you before I get into a relationship Literally. with you. Like mm. six months is the point where people start showing their true colors, kind of yeah. thing. So I want to get to that point where I see if, before if you any, bag me. Yeah. yeah. If any red flags that I could like, you know, <laughs> avoid. Avoid like, or if it's like the red flags that are, I can like brush, or it's the red flags that I can't. Because if I'm going to a relationship with you and then I see these red flags once I'm in a relationship with you, I'm gonna be vexed. Because where was this before? Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So where? Why <clears throat> do you men? Be careful Let's say for you example, men, <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, like yeah. I'm so sorry. Let me say, why do some of you guys? Mm -hmm. Let's say for example, I'm a guy. Mm -hmm. I've been attracted to her for time, yeah. years. Mm. Don't get twisted. Like I've been following her up, but she's not having it. I'm still applying pressure. Like I need to apply pressure until I get her. Mm -hmm. Let's say for example, you've been doing that for like three years, four years. Yeah. You've got her. Yeah, because don't get it twisted. It's not it's not months. It's gonna be years. Like That's you know, it's not not, 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 not not even like you wasted years doing nothing. <laughs> Man, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Not even like years not of just chasing really. it, but it's like within those years, of course you were talking to people, da, 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 but at the end of the day, it was like, this is the person I really so, want. Yeah, 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 like I really want. Yeah, you've yeah. got the person you've been fighting for for years. Mm. You've bagged her, then you start doing fuckeries. It ain't what you, I <laughs> Should have seen like your pictures and shit. <laughs> that ain't what I thought it was. No, but you guys will literally get what you literally. needed from her and then you dust. But oh, you've yeah. been followed, like, you've been chasing her for years. Oh. Like, this is someone yeah. you wanted. Let me tell you something. I told, I told a girl before, yeah. She's like, bam, I'm giving give you the chance to act right. And I'm just not acting right. Mm. I told her, like, no, I, can't, can't, like, I just like the idea of her. Mm. You know what I mean? You know when you, you just have something, oh, this girl's lame. Yeah. Don't want to really want to 
make that a reality because you like the fact that She's not yours. She's not yeah. yours. Yeah. yeah. So I'm chasing. Like, nice yeah, I'm not. Like, but that's the thing that the chase is nice, but you're wasting your time and you've wasted my time. I don't say a waste of time. No, it is a waste of time that. because then again, it's like, you know what? I wasn't giving you a chance before. I'm now giving you your platform, but now that's you're used. Fu- no. Yeah, no, but it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you your platform and now you've come to rubbish me. Like I was at peace. Now you've come to put in drama, complication. I didn't need all of that. Like you could have stayed over there, do what you need mm. to do. And I could have been doing what I need to do. But you've come, you've got what you've got. Now you're not interested. I can't lie, there's not really any justification for it. Yeah. Really so you true. have no means to why you do what you do. Bro, <laughs> we are men. <laughs> we <laughs> are boys. We are just boys. What the next? You see, nah, like that, that's see. just so weird for me because it's like a mm. girl chasing you. Now she's got what she needs. She's just like, ah, well, like I'm not. Girls have that as well, bro. I've never girls actually, like, yeah, I've never, never heard a girl ever, ever chase for someone and then mm. rubbish them. Girls, like, girls will be like, this guy is nice. Like, girls will be on you and. Once you, t- once you take them in, they start moving silly, G. Mm. No, I've, I've never, never experienced that. that. Heard no. Of that. I've heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah, G. That's why the man them always says, uh, it's always crazy. the girls you don't want that mm. want you because mm. when you don't show them attention... But that's the same way you girls. Exactly. I feel like it's just human. Yeah. Mm. Once you don't show them attention, they kind of want to... Bro, I'm going to get this person. Mm. Nah, that comes a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge, bro. Yeah. Like, imagine you're chatting to a guy and he just takes you straight away. You might feel like, oh. Yeah, oh, that was bro, too easy. Was easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, another like, scenario or question is, would you take offence to your partner handing you a prenup on your wedding day? Yeah. 100%. What the fuck? Would you? As in, my, to be it's wife, not even that, like, it's on your wedding day. It's not yeah. even a discussion. Offensive? Yes. Mm. No, I would have had a friend. Barrett, let's say for example, you haven't had a conversation, but you see a paper right in front yeah, of you on the, on the day wedding day. Crazy. That's crazy. Day, but would you be upset for them wanting the prenup in general? Yeah, because no, you're, no, no. you're thinking that we're going to break up. Thank you. No, it's not thinking. Listen, no, listen, you're, divorce you're, rates right now are more than 50%, more than half of marriages fail. So it's not like you're no, thinking. No, but you guys are thinking of, rah, of, you see what, if we divorce, like she's going to take half of my shit. Yeah, what if nice. like, no, but let, let's say for example, it's a divorce and it's like, bro, like we don't even need a prenup. What you came with, take it. No, what no, I came no, with, no, no. let but me leave with girls it. Are not like that, but that's bro. the thing, though. But let's say your wife, like, isn't. Oh yeah, doesn't want that. Yes. No, no but no, but that's not. But no, that's the thing, though. Let's say prenup is more like what he leaves with. That's his. What you leave with, that's yours. But let's say, for example, yes, you're doing things and it's tied together. But what if you're with a partner, the same bro? Like, let's be mature about it. Split it down mid- the middle. You take this, I take this. We don't need to do a whole wahala yeah, over it. What about a situation where the man, you lot are both what, in your 30s, mm-hmm. the man has built a business over the past 10 years. Let's say it's a multi-million dollar business. Mm-hmm. She's done nothing to, for that business at Fair all. Enough. Once you become married, you both have equal rights to that business. Mm. And once you now divorce, the law will favour the woman getting 50% of that business. But let's say your partner was to say, you know what, like, I don't want anything. But how do you know your other partner's going to say? How no, but that's you know? what I'm saying. But it, that's it's 50-50. That's that's exactly. That's the thing that it's 50-50. Yeah. One person would want half of your thing, knowing damn well that you didn't do shit for it. Yeah. And then the other half is just like, you know what, like, respectfully. That's, a, that's why you do it then. Because you don't know what they're no, well, Fair enough. Also, yeah. to remember that because the woman's now married, that man, imagine she's not, she's focused on having kids. She hasn't got no career. If she leaves, she's got no career, no history, no mm. nothing. That like, She's going to want some sort of thing from but the day, This question is 50-50, bro. I don't think it's a bad thing, bro. Like, it's not saying we're going to break up. I'm just saying, if like, I think the prenup only happens if... In the event the they, marriage fails. But mm. Not even if they if it fails. I feel like, like, say I give my girl a prenup, but she cheats on me. I don't think she gets... It's different. It's not strictly straight down the middle. So I feel like, you shouldn't think of it as this guy thinks we're not going to last. Like, no, but that, but that's how people will himself. think about it. Yeah, it's protecting you yourself, bro, and you also have to look at the actual rates of the divorce. Divorce rates are more than fifty percent. More than half of the people who are marrying, they're divorcing. Mm. You get so like the stats are saying that it's more likely that this marriage will fail than it will succeed. But who here wants to get married? As yeah. for now, no. Nah. Not now, obviously, but yeah, yeah I was going to definitely get married. I'm, I wouldn't mind. I'm good. The right girl. Really, for mm. real. Right. So, what, if you met the, the love of your life. 
Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that was. But that's the thing, yeah. That's like, if if right, it's a no, life changing right, thing, no. but as for now, right now, I don't want to get married. Like, I don't see myself wanting to raise kids at the moment. Like, I don't know if I'm going to find love in my life for a while. You know what it is? I just feel like I say this because it's this generation, Lord. Yeah, it is. It is Finding it is. someone is so rare. Like, but you also have to remember, we've been enclosed in London. Yeah, yeah, bro. There's a whole world out there. Mm. Whole go, world. go out. Do you go to Manchester? Yeah, hundred percent. You'll find someone somewhere else. But right now, where we're stuck at yeah. is this generation right now finding something that's like raw. Like I can see this going all the way. How important is um, CRBs? Or well, say you're chatting to a guy, a new guy, you go look around, you get some information on him, and it's just poor, bro. As in what? Like what is? What type of information? Right, now, listen, for example, this, you just this know, guy's a fuck boy. Yeah. Like, you just take the piss out. Like, you don't take girls seriously. Like, is that gonna? Is that, is that is that gonna make you not want to chat to him? Or are you like, you know what? Let me see for myself. You man. know what it is? There was one person that changed my whole view about CRB. Like, don't get twisted. I'll be like, like me. I always used to say like, I cannot like deal with someone whose body count is like what two digit like that's wild like do you get no but that's me before though like as a oh, girl like oh, oh. do you get and like oh I can't deal with someone with two digit number like mm. if you told me two digit number I'm just looking at you like after this date I'm going home and you're blocked like mm -hmm. forget it like it's not going nowhere but now it's like that person was saying bro like don't get twisted like that's people's past like stop looking at what they did before and look at them now like how are they now would you take them serious now I was like, raw, like, I the edge you get, like, I will take them serious if it's like, you're not here. It was like, back then, this is what they used to do. Now, you know what, like, it's not him no more. He's I tired that, of it. I heard that, but say you did that and he does the same thing to you that he does to everyone else, would you blame yourself? Be like, damn, I should have, like, I should have. But CRB check is not like the more, like, it's not the main thing of why I'm talking to this person, like. What about you? Um, yeah, I feel like I'm not really fussed with the CRB because not gonna lie, when I'm talking to guys, I don't really, I suffer in silence in the sense of like, I'm not asking around people mm. for him anyway, so I'm going to find it for myself. But if it was a thing where um, I was talking to someone and then I, people are telling me about him and I heard, I mean, the only thing I'll stop talking to you for is I found out that you raped someone or you done Just something like that. But something like going out with bare girls, stuff like that. Yeah, if I, if that happens to me, then it happens to me, but. There's only certain things I'll, I'm not having, mm. like, especially like rape stuff like that. That's the only thing I will not chat to you for. For me, yeah, that CRB thing, it's, it's techy. I think it's techy for when it comes to boys, man. I think it's very simple. You think so? No, for me, it's techy, bro. But I find it because some boys say that they like doing it, but then some boys are just like, bro, like, I don't give a shit. Because like, that... Some of the coolest girls that I know, bro, will have of, bad CRBs. Yeah. But they're so they're such cool people. And once you like, once you have a girl, that girl becomes like a representation of you. Hundred. So you step out with that girl, you walk into a room, X, Y, and Z got something mm, to say about her. It's, like, it's wild, bro. I guess that comes with security, isn't it? How secure you are in mm, your relationship. I think it's not necessarily the history that matters, it's the why. Behind the history, that's more important. Thank you. That's why for me it's very simple. It doesn't matter what you've done, it matters why you did what you did. Yeah. Because you could have a crazy past, but the reasons behind it mm. sort of not necessarily justified, but it makes but it, it makes know, sense. It yeah. Makes it okay to live with, you know what I'm saying. And so plus certain CRB checks, it's always two sides to a story. Like you know, yeah. boy bees like be like, some oh, guys yeah, like this to lie. girl done this. this Come this, on, this, man, we know like there's some people. Yeah, who some just people like, and some people could be like. <laughs> You know, with certain girls, okay, if a boy, if a boy is like feeding you this energy, like oh, I want a wife, you, da, 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 but he's only trying to say that to have sex with you. Mm. Then he has sex with you. Then he's telling people, oh yeah, I have sex with this girl. Like you can't yeah. blame her if he's giving her all this energy that that she likes each other. But they never ever will say that bit. They will mm. just say she done this. You mm. got what I mean? So there's always two sides of the story. So it all depends on how you know, how much that's you have true, the girl that's true, that's true. There's always two sides of the story. Still, mm. yeah. always. Guys had to say a lot, man. Hey man. Do you know your friends like you're not okay? You must and know someone that has lied about another girl. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, so, <laughs> bro, I was trying to I was trying to I was trying to a girl one time and then one boy told me that she, that she gave him vlogs, bro. She gave him head G. And then and asked her, is it like is it true type shit? She's like, no, she's like, he's lying, he's lying. Mm. And later the guys come to me and be like, oh, my bad, bro. I just didn't want you to have her. 
Do you get it, bro? And that's, it's always because See, they didn't get the chance. It, no, but that's the it's thing, it's though. Sick, it's dude. Fucked. But it, it's weird, though. Mm, but, like, how, how, how do you though. think it's okay to say, let me say this? Like, I don't understand like that. you're just saying anything. You're saying that you've done something with the girl. Yeah. Oh, last Bro, time. like... You know, well, you did nothing you know, with damn, the girl. But that's the thing, though. That's why girls get infuriated. Because it's just like, bro, you're saying your story. You know damn well this did not happen. Of course, as you boys, like, you'll be like, oh, this one is back in his story. So everyone just back it. Da, da, da. And it'll all be lying. And then at some point you'll be like, bro, like, no one's going to believe it. Because most guys are thinking, bro, yeah. why would you lie? Why would you that? lie? Did you get it? Guys, and you stop guys doing don't. that, man. Stop doing that. <laughs> stop. Man. Seriously. You need to stop, man. It's one weird. Day always rattles me. Bro, yeah. weird. Yeah, man. It happens a lot as well, man. It's crazy. Yeah, man. I think we done, though, man. Yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's been episode three of PB's Table. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. What you, and comment what you think as well. Mm. Make, sure, make sure to subscribe on the road to 1K. Um, Apple Music, Spotify, we're on that as well. Give us a follow. But yeah, that's been it, man. Thank you. Ooh. Hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> hold on, guys. Hey. I have to give a thank you. Such a thank you to everyone that came. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ruth, Remy, Nicole. Hey, hey man. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Man. Thank you. Yeah, it was okay. lit. It was lit. It's a wreck. Yes, sir. No 